Hi friends. Okay, wait a second. Let me start that over. I just jumped in like too soon. Okay, well, hi, I'm Melissa. I haven't posted on this channel since 2020. So if you're not following along on Instagram or if you're new, um, I'm Melissa from Woods and Wool. I'm a crochet designer and I was pregnant. I had a baby. So, you know, We've slowed down a little bit on the woods and wool front of things, but I thought it would be really fun to make a video of some new yarns that I have. So I have a whole bunch of yarn here and some hooks to share with you because I haven't really had a chance to share these too much on Instagram. So I just thought we would catch up here and I'd share some of these with you. So that's what we're going to do. Um, also, if you're wondering, I will have links to everything in the description box. So if you wanna shop something or get more details on anything, just check out the description box below and I will have links to everything in there. Some of them will be affiliate links. So if you shop through those links, it's a great way to support me and I always appreciate you doing that. So let's dive in. Um, first of all, we have to talk about this yarn. I feel like everyone has been talking about it. It is Color Theory from Lion Brand and Two of Wands. So Two of Wands is one of the very, very, very first crochet designers I ever followed, I ever tried to pattern way before Woods and Wool even started. And Alexi, who is behind Two of Wands, is just a wonderful person and amazing creative. So I love her yarn collaborations with Lion Brand. The first one she did was Hue and Me a couple years ago. Again, this was maybe 2020. And now she has launched Color Theory, which is this yarn. It is a worsted weight acrylic. I got these three colors to make a top with. Um, definitely not something I would normally choose. I would normally pick like one color or maybe something very neutral, but I was reading Alexi's blog post all about color theory and how to make contrast and put different colors together. And I was really inspired to try something outside of my normal color palette, which is Highland on this. So I'll be starting this project soon. I've made a swatch so far, but I really, really like it and I'm really excited. Um, another thing I should mention about the yarn is it has a really, really beautiful ply. I got it in another color I'm gonna show you here. If you can see that up close, it has like, let's see, is that focusing? Eh, maybe, maybe not, but trust me, it has a gorgeous ply and twist to it. Um, it's very like bouncy and has beautiful stitch definition. So definitely try it out. This color is not a normal color again that I would ever choose, but I loved it and I feel like it is the perfect yellow shade for me. So we'll see what I end up making with it. If you have ideas, drop it in the comments. I have six skeins, so enough to make, I don't know, a sweater, a blanket, a lot of potential there. So anyway, that's color theory. I really, really, really like this yarn. I can't wait to work with it. And I think it's also on some other websites now. I think Furl's picked it up. We Crochet has it on their site. Um, so if you're not in the US, um, try some different websites, see who's carrying it because there are other places outside of Lion Brand that has it too. Okay, next up is another new yarn. This is called Heatherly and it is from We Crochet, which is one of my favorite yarn companies as well. I feel like Lion Brand and We Crochet are always like one of the top of my list, especially when it comes to affordable yarns. So this is Heatherly. It is a worsted weight acrylic merino blend, which I don't think I've worked with a merino acrylic blend before. It's 20% merino, let me check, 20% merino, 80% acrylic, and it is, again, a worsted weight. It's really, really stunning. It has a very, true to the name, heathered look to it. And the colors are really soft and muted and I'm super excited to work with this. If you don't have um, a ball winder in Swift, you might wanna get one. I really like to use mine. I have the one from We Crochet. I've had it for years, it works amazing. And it basically just cakes up your yarn, making it easier to work with because it does come in a hank. So if you're not familiar, um, you will have to either roll it into a ball or cake it up before you use it because it looks like this. So that's Heatherly. It's gorgeous. I think it's about $6 a skein. So really, really affordable and just, I mean, it's stunning. I've swatched with it. It's beautiful. It's so soft. I love it. So that is my, I guess, big box company yarns to share with you. 
And then I do have some hand dyed yarn that I bought earlier this spring from Hickory Lane Fiber Company. My good friend Lisa, who I've known for years, dyed these. This is Galileo from her Queen collection. And look at these speckles. Lisa is the queen of speckles. Again, I don't know how well my camera is going to focus on this, but that's okay. You'll get the idea. So this is Galileo. I'm sorry. Did I say Galileo? This is break free. This is break free. This is Galileo. So these are from her queen collection that she had earlier this year. And I bought them to make something with, I was going to make, um, like a, a kerchief with them, but I changed my mind. I don't know if I want to do that anymore. So now I don't know what to do with them. They definitely go together. You can see Galileo has these beautiful kind of blue speckles in it that really ties it in with Break Free, but they also stand alone and are equally beautiful. So let me know if you have ideas for these as well, because I'm not quite sure. They're all DK weight, if that helps. So that is my Hickory Lane Fiber Company yarn. And lastly, I have some hooks to share with you. So if you followed me in fall of 2017, I tried the furls hooks for the very first time and I have never looked back. I have so many of these, it's almost ridiculous. But I use them all, I love them all, and the streamlines are my absolute favorite. So furls launched something completely new and different that they never have done before, which is a metal streamline. This thing is stunning. Do you see it? It doesn't, again, my phone camera is never going to do this justice, but it is gorgeous in real life. It is buttery smooth. And the way that your yarn glides on this is just something else entirely. It's, it's wonderful, but there is something that you should know about it. This hook is metal and it's solid metal. So it's kind of heavy. Um, and if you're used to the streamlines, like I am, you're used to a very lightweight hook. So this is a change for me compared to, I'll show you another new hook. This is their new glitter streamline, which is made with resin. It's so cute, isn't it? I'm so obsessed with this. So this one is a G, this one is a G plus. So they're almost the same size. And weighing in, this one is about 40 grams and this one is about 20 grams. So again, if you're used to a lightweight hook like this, that's 20 grams, super lightweight. This one has a little bit more weight to it in your hand. It's not a bad thing, but it might just be something that you have to get used to. So I've only swatched with it. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I just don't have a project right now that I need a four millimeter hook for. So I will probably give a further review once, once I've actually done a whole project with it, but I think I'm gonna love it. Just the weight was something for me to get used to. And if you are familiar with furls, you've probably seen their Odyssey hooks. So the Odyssey hooks are weighted and they are weighted so that, let's see if I can show you this. They're weighted so that like the hook tip is where the heavy part is and then the handle is not heavy. So this also weighs 40 grams, it's a G plus. So again, almost the same size. They are the same weight, but this one is weighted to like this end where the hook is so it's gonna help you crochet faster. This one, the weight is kind of in the handle. So to me, it actually feels more balanced and like the weight feels good in my hand, whereas the Odyssey, I have a hard time getting used to this as much because it's it wants to like dip down. I don't know. Anyway, that's your casual and formal <laughs> review of these. But I, I love my furls hooks. I also use the wooden ones all the time. I, I flip flop between the wood and the resin depending on basically the fiber content I'm working with. And I also, I really like to match my hook to my project and my yarn. So when I look at this hook, this, oh my gosh. Okay, we'll pretend that didn't happen. But when I look at this hook and this yarn together, I love it so much. So I need to find something perfect for them um, because I love it. So I think that's it. I think that is everything I had to show you right now. I have some whips on my hook. Again, that I haven't been the best at sharing on Instagram. So maybe I'll do another video with those sometime to show you what I've been working on, what's coming up. 
There's some things I might need testers for, so that's always fun. But in the meantime, if you have questions for me, if you have things you wanna see, please drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I would love to answer your questions sometime. So please drop those in the comments below and then, you know, you know the rest of the drill. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff if you like what you see. And in the meantime, I will find you probably over on Instagram.